the glamour, and speed. While it may be some of those things, it's a sport with its fair share of scrapes and broken bones. Broken shoulders, feet, ankles, fingers, toes. See, I've had a lot of accidents and a lot's happened. Broke both my shoulder blades. I tore a tendon in my right shoulder, tore my rotator cuff. These riders snack on danger and dine on death each time they head out on the track, which makes a person wonder, why would someone fly down a track at 300 kilometers an hour by the seat of their pants? I think it's a passion, that's something in your blood once you see, uh, it's a connection, like uh, once you get on a motorcycle and you're traveling at 250, close to 300 kilometers an hour, the, the rush, the, you know, the excitement, uh, the satisfaction when you do finish good, it's uh, the whole package itself, the glamour, the, you know, the fact that you feel satisfied when you have done something good on the bike, it's, uh, I think it's more of a passion thing than itself, uh, anything else. Like the Knights of the Middle Ages, the quality of the armor is what keeps the riders in the race of life. So the, the armor that we use in our suits is made by a company called Knox, uh, which is a lot better than just your standard CE approved armor. It's about 20 times more expensive as well, but it definitely absorbs a lot of impact. It's designed and tested to uh, you know, uh, handle a certain amount of uh, stress or, or impact. And uh, certain features like you know, the, the aerodynamic hump uh, on the back of the suit, which I, I can show you very briefly here. You know, we've had riders that uh, have crashed on the road uh, where this has saved their life because the helmet actually rests on that so it stops her neck from snapping back. Spectators and riders know just how important safety is, but going from track to track week by week, is it emphasized as heavily by the race officials? Safety is your number one priority. The whole idea of coming to track is you can actually ride in a safer you know, environment to hone your skills a bit. So safety is always number one priority when it comes to track days. I do know racing safety is always number one priority, but we're all human, we all push the edge, you know, we all will push the envelope and see where we can take these uh, uh, two-wheel demons. The drivers of these heavy-duty pieces of machinery are some of the most skilled athletes, but when they become civilians again, does the knowledge from the track help or hinder their driving on the road? You have to be aware of everything around you. So like when I'm on the road, I'm just looking around for everybody to see what else they're doing, because you get that from the track. What you can do on the bike, uh, your reaction times are a little better, and because you get, you get to go fast on the track, you don't need to on the road. So you tone it down a bit on the road. Again, coming back to reaction time and instincts, it helps you, you know, your subconscious changes. While the threat of wrecks are always on the mind of riders, it can't stop people from doing what they love to do. So if you're interested in becoming a motorcycle rider, here's a few tips before you get started. Uh, to prep yourself uh, mentally and physically, be calm and collective, and just enjoy. Just go out there, get on the bike, have some fun, make sure you do your preparation so you're not, uh, you know, going around for things to be done last minute. Uh, preparation is the key and go and have some fun.